Do you want to do a photo shoot in a cemetery or graveyard? In today's video, I will be sharing my best tips and tricks with you. Hello spooky bats and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi and welcome. My name is Arfia and I'm a god YouTuber from Belgium. For those of you who don't know it yet, I'm also a photographer and I do this actually as my job. It is a side job to the main job that I already do. It's a bit complicated story, more about that in possibly a future video, but in today's video I want to talk about Halloween photo shoots and more specifically shooting in cemeteries or graveyards. And of course this is not only valid or specific for Halloween, it's just something that I found relevant and that I wanted to make a video about right now. However, graveyard and cemetery shoots are something that I do all year around in my business and that I absolutely love doing. So without further ado, let's get into to the do's and don'ts of shooting at a cemetery and also I will give you some behind the scenes of a recent photo shoot that I did personally at the graveyard of Bruges which is the Centrale Begraafplaats. It's absolutely gorgeous, it has woodland in it etc but you will see that. So now let's get talking into the don'ts of shooting at cemeteries and graveyards. Let's first start with things you cannot and should absolutely not do while shooting at graveyards or cemeteries. First of all, do not break in. Go during the opening hours where everyone is allowed in a graveyard or into the cemetery. Otherwise, it is very well possible that they need to call law enforcement, aka the police or the cemetery like keepers, etc., to kick you out. And you really don't want to do that. Now, do keep in mind that some cemeteries or graveyards are actually public spaces, that they are open all the time. Of course, for those, you don't really have to keep it into account, but please look it up first before you start shooting anywhere. Second of all, do not damage anything. If you are into this place, respect the environment, respect the space. Do not litter, do not throw your shit anywhere. It is very, very disrespectful. I feel this is like a general tip that I would give anyone who ever goes to a graveyard or cemetery. But however, I feel that I really need to accentuate this nowadays because you see litter everywhere when you go shooting somewhere nowadays. So I feel it's very important to mention it. Third is to not go onto any graves unless you have permission. Now, I personally go into this particular graveyard quite a lot. I actually know a few people who work there and they told me that some things are allowed and some things aren't. Posing on or in front of graves is also something that is a very delicate subject, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. Just know that the pictures that I take on graveyards or cemeteries have all been taken with permission of the graveyard keepers. I'm not sure what the name is for it. So if someone knows, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know actually the, the grave keepers. I don't know, it would be such a cool job though. <laughs> Also, obviously, don't take anything from graveyards and don't move things. Leave everything as it is. Try and leave everything untouched if you can. And of course, a do that comes with the don'ts that I just said is ask permission and be respectful of the environment. And if something happens, if, for example, you knock something over accidentally, try and put it back in the state it was. Or if not, please go and report it so the people from the graveyard can actually fix it. If you don't tell them and they find out afterwards, it might be a lot more trouble for them than it was. Now let's talk about the best timings to shoot at graveyards. There are two times in a day that are classically good for photo shoots. It's either first time in the morning when the sun comes up or the last hour when the sun goes down. This is called golden hour and you will find this everywhere when looking for photo shoot ideas or when looking for photo shoot guidelines. This is what you will most often see. What this gives is a very low sun, very soft shadows and it is absolutely gorgeous to take pictures during these hours. However, if you're not able to, I would recommend looking at a day where it is mostly cloudy, where there's not too much sun, then it doesn't matter matter anymore at what time of day you are taking pictures because the gray clouds will obscure the sun anyways and will avoid those very harsh shadow lines. Now what I also like to do is when I shoot at cemeteries I like to look at cemeteries who have 
trees or have greenery around them. Why? Because even with harsh sunlight, as you will see in the pictures that I've taken of this shoot, you can still hide the sun behind trees, behind plants, behind objects that are there, etc. And if you are shooting at a graveyard where there is a lot of sun, I would recommend using it as a backlight rather than in the face of your model, because if the sunlight is directly in the face, they will squint their eyes and it will not look as good. Whereas if you use it as a backlight, you will actually create this kind of halo effect with which you will see in some of the pictures of this shoot. If you want to shoot at the cemetery or graveyard, I would obviously recommend to go exploring beforehand. Feel free to explore a lot of cemeteries, take pictures with your phone and to remember them for photo shoots that you will be doing. Not every graveyard, not every cemetery is as pretty as you'd like it to be and not everything works well in pictures. I personally avoid most modern cemeteries, however I prefer the older ones that really have the mausoleums and the really pretty graves. And then finally, before I end this video, I want to still give a quick tip when taking pictures and it is to have enough elements of the graveyard present in your pictures. You want to know that the picture is taken at a graveyard, so don't take the pictures too close up where you don't actually see any graves or tombstones, etc. I personally think that if you do a photo shoot at a graveyard, that it has to feel like you're shooting at a graveyard, which actually helps also with the rendering of the pictures afterwards. For editing, there's not really specific advice that I can give because editing depends on every picture that you take. However, I will show you a little bit of my editing process for the pictures of today's video and then a quick before and after. So first things first, I actually crop and adjust my picture to make the framing the way that I personally want it. Then I will start playing around with lights and shadows. I will also most of the time add a vignette to my picture, which adds this extra amount of darkness. I will of course also do other small corrections, but this really depends on the picture. Most pictures I edit are edited in Lightroom and honestly, I don't do much editing because I try to take my pictures as good as I possibly can straight out of camera, which is hopefully what you can see here as well. So if you are looking to take some Halloween pictures for yourself, I would highly advise exploring graveyards and cemeteries. Stay respectful of your environment as always and have fun. Should you still have any questions at all, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for weekly videos. And this month, the entire month of October, I will be making Halloween related content. Before I end this video, I of course want to thank Thank my patrons, Anders, Jerry, Jen, JB, and Professor Gotik. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. It means the world to me. And of course, to each and every one of you, thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you next week with a new one. Bye.